In this video, I will show you how to quickly remove unwanted parts from your photogrammetry 3D scans using just reality capture. We are going to remove some trees from our 3D model from our previous tutorial and get this much cleaner look without the distorted trees. Let's begin. When doing photogrammetry 3D scanning, you often end with parts of your model that are not perfect were reconstructed badly and you would like to remove them from the 3D model. Very often it applies to trees. Trees have very complex shape and more importantly leaves are constantly moving a little bit in wind, so it's very hard for photogrammetry software to properly reconstruct them. So often instead of at least an approximate shape of a tree you end up with some weird deformed kind of zombie tree like at this model of the medieval castle from our previous tutorial. These trees at the main courtyard doesn't look good at all and we would like to remove them. It is fairly easy task in reality capture. Of course, you can do it outside, export a 3D model into something like Blender, ZBrush or 3D Code, do the cleaning there and import it back, but it's fast to do it in just reality capture. As the first step, let's select the parts we want to remove. We will use lasso tool to roughly select the target area and then we will clean up the selection by deselecting unwanted parts by holding the shift key. Let's speed things up and select all three trees. When we have selected all the parts we want to remove from our model, let's use filter function to filter them out. As you can see, Reality Capture has created a new model with selected areas left it out, but there are holes in the place of the trees. We will close them using the clean model function, as this function also close holes in the mesh topology. Our mesh is closed now. Holes are gone. Well, as you can see, Reality Capture did a kinda awful job closing the holes. If we would use any 3D application like Blender or 3D Code, the results would be definitely better. But let's live with that for this time. Okay, so we have removed the unwanted parts, but what about the textures? If we run texturing over this model without the parts we have just removed, the texture that should have been on the removed parts, trees at this case, will be reprojected to the ground under the trees. It will basically paint the missing trees on the ground. And it doesn't look very nice and most of the time I guess it's not what you intended. The solution is simple. At first, let's run the texturing on the original 3D model with the unwanted parts still there. When it's done, we will reproject the texture from the original model to the cleaned one, the one without the unwanted parts. The source model is the one with the trees still there, the model we will copy the texture from. The target model is the clean one, the 3D model without the trees, the model we are going to copy the textures to. But life is not perfect and with this approach you will end up with at least shadows of the trees reprojected on the ground. And it looks maybe even worse than the model with the trees reprojected on the ground. But now these spots are much smaller and it's gonna be much easier to retouch them. To do that we need to export the model and use some external 3D application. As this is not something you can do in reality capture. We will use Blender. Let's export our 3D model. Do not forget to choose to export textures in the export dialog. Let's open Blender and import our 3D file to it. Here we switch the view to texture paint. Let's turn on viewport shading and do not forget to use EV render engine. We will also brighten the scene a bit up in the world settings. Now let's choose the clone tool 
What clone tool does, as its name suggests, is it will copy or clone the texture from, from one place you choose to another. So at first you need to choose the place from where you want the texture to be copied from. You select it by holding the shift key and right click on the mesh from where you want the textures to be copied. Now you can clone it just by left click on the new place. At the end, do not forget to save the edited textures. Going to image and click on save all images. And that's it for this tutorial. Now you can import the model back to Reality Capture and continue in your workflow or for example export the model from the Blender into GLB file and import it to CrossCloud to share it online, as you can see here. Thanks a lot for watching, more photogrammetry 3D scanning tutorials are coming, so subscribe if you will and stay tuned.